Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Just a small video about a device I got today in the mail. I thought it's worthwhile to show it to you. If you want to test a power bank or a USB power adapter, then you need a load for it. This load is a very simple one. It has just two large resistors and a switch and an LED which shows whether you have one or two ampere. So very simple. The new device is much more complex. On this side it has a Darlington transistor and a shunt here to measure the current. On this side it has a heat sink and a fan. And here it has a very interesting concept to select the current. It has a trimmer, which is a very cheap solution, but usually the trimmer has to be adjusted with a screwdriver. Here they put a small button on this trimmer and this can be selected by hand now. So you don't need a screwdriver to change the value here. We start now our test. If we look with the FLIR camera, we see that the temperature is around 28 to 30 degrees, which is just normal room temperature today. Now I plug it in and it starts and we check the current. It's only 1.7 ampere and this is well possible because these are just resistors and there is an additional resistor in this device here, so it is not possible to draw the full 2 ampere. I assume that if I would put this uh, load directly into the power bank, it would draw uh, close to 2 ampere. But this is of no value, because then I could not measure the capacity of the power bank. After about 2 minutes, we see a different picture. The temperature of the resistors is about 120 degrees. It's very, very hot already. And if we watch the resistors, we see that they are already brownish because they are burned of heat. And if I touch it, it's really hot and it can burn easily something if you do not pay attention. Now we check the new load. First, I show you that it has ambient temperature so there is no heat. Now I plug it in. And the fan does not work for the moment. Let's quickly check the current. The current really is 1.98 ampere, which is close to 2 ampere. And if I turn here, I can change the current and we check it has around 30 degrees and now the fan started to run. Let's wait now for a minute or two. It is now about four minutes or so and you see here we have 40 degrees, we have 50 degrees here, so it's not at all 120 degrees. Let's turn the side and look at the Darlington transistor because this could be warmer. It is 50 to 60, 60 degrees, around 60 degrees is the maximum here. So the cooling system works efficiently and the whole thing seems to be quite stable after a few minutes. Though this device is less dangerous than the other one. Let's now compare the price of the two different loads. The first load costs only one dollar, including free shipping to Switzerland. So let's look at the other one. This one is much more expensive. It is four times more expensive, four dollar fifty, also including free shipping. But this is a much, much better design and I would not spend the money for the first device, I would go for the second device. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye!